my name is Jenny if you're new and it's just so great to have you and if you're returning I'm so grateful that you're back this week I'm going to be talking about what you don't see or rather probably more in my case what I don't show what I what I don't show as far as living in chronic pain um, I wrote a blog post so I'll share that below but I'm gonna share um, a day that I was um, my last pain management appointment I actually have to travel out of state for my pain management appointment and I intended to to take a video while I was at the doctor's office but the time I got there my pain was too out of control and I was in tears and it was just it was a mess so um, didn't get to do that but anyway I'll, I'll show you now this is on the way there I got home this is this is when I get home hey there I failed miserably at checking in at the doctor's office um, like I had mentioned I was having a still am having a really bad pain day and I just wanted to check back in after that um forgot to bring all of my travel essentials um mostly my my cushion that i use that helps me it helps um it's a it's a cushion that to sit on and then a lumbar like a lumbar support for the back um and it, the jar it, it helps to to decrease the impact from the all the jars and bumps and and things in the road and um oh my gosh i really felt it every single anyway by the time i got to the doctor i was in uh, was at a nine and a half on the pain scale and um and also my occipital neuralgia is really flared up i got in a wreck about two weeks ago it was just a fender bender um but since then the progress that we made on my si joint with the prp and the stem cell has really it just it's like it, it totally undid all the progress and so my si joint has been really bad and my occipital neuralgia really everything um my tendonitis and so anyway i had to bring up the um <clears throat> the fact that my pain man, my pain medicine is not seeming to really do a whole lot anymore and so the option presented to me was um a intrathecal pain pump because the body absorbs it better he said my doctor said um and you can they can put you on higher doses if needed and adjust it better. So that is something I need to think about. I do have the I do have the concern about a leak. Just I know that with it the area that it's put in. So I would really love to hear if you are somebody that has a pump and you have Ehlers Danlos, especially because with our um, you know with our our Dura and and being so prone to or or the risk that you have with with developing a leak i'm just concerned about that so i would kind of like to hear from people that um that have had a, either decided not to do a pain pump or have chosen to do it especially in what the outcome is and how you've done with it um i feel i mean we're sort of at a it didn't seem like that was there were any other options besides that besides that so yeah, um, that, and then I, did, I got a, another occipital block. I don't even know how many I've had at this time, so many, and then a SI joint block while I was there. So I'm gonna try to rest and recover from the trip, but I just wanted to check back in. 
Um, I want to be better about sharing on my rough days because I mostly get ready and then try to do my um, videos and uploads on days when I'm having lower pain and I just I don't I'm not very good about checking in on the bad days so yeah I'm having a bad day and I wanted to check in and so uh, I hope that you're all having great days and um, that your pain is well managed and I would so love to hear your experiences if you have a, a pain pump or you you know I've experienced with it or anything that you could offer um, even if you don't have Eller stainless I would love to know your um, your perspective and your experience with it so yeah anyway thank you so much I hope you have a good day bye it wasn't a great it wasn't a great appointment uh, my doctor really only had um, the intrathecal pain pump to suggest and for me I am too um, I'm willing if that's my only option which at this point in time that is that is how it's been put to me but I do want a couple of second opinions, so I'm working on that now. I have been referred for a pain pump before and a di by a different doctor, and they wouldn't do it because of my Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and because at the time we were rolling out CSF leak. So I'm just kind of apprehensive about it. I really would appreciate any man put. But I just wanted to talk about I'm trying to be better about sharing my bad days just for the sake of you know my heart for awareness and support of people and I realize how important it is to share on the bad days and so um yeah that's really what I'm trying to do so that was a bad day and here's another picture of a bad day and so <clears throat> truthfully I've had a bad day today but you can't really tell because I put makeup on and I do my hair and I only do that because it cheers me up and it's just a form of self-care for me. It makes me feel a little bit more like me. It just sort of gives me that uh, boost of, I don't know, like it just, it just helps me. I don't have any problem with not wearing makeup or doing my hair. It just makes me feel better. So I do realize though, having said that, that it's harder to see that somebody doesn't feel well when they do look put together. So, um, I am trying harder to, um, you know, I know visuals are important, so I'm trying harder to be better about taking pictures on the bad days. So anyway, yeah, um, I just thank you for being here and I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye-bye.